Incision of the anterolateral leg. The first transverse incision is given at the junction of upper one third and the lower two third. And the second transverse incision is given the line joining the two epicondyle. So this is the medial epicondyle, this is the lateral epicondyle, the line joining them, the second transverse incision. Now the both the transverse incision is met by the uh, vertical incision. This is a vertical incision. Now I am reflecting the skin. This one is skin. This one is superficial tissues. This one is the deep fascia. Muscles of the anterolateral compartment of leg are the pneumonic are the Himalayan are never dry places. The the means tibialis anterior. So this is the tibialis anterior Himalaya. Himalaya means extensor hallucis longus. Himalaya H for Himalaya H for hallucis. Extensor hallucis longus. R. R means the artery. So you can see in between it. This is the artery. This one is the artery and there is a nerve. So R never. A for artery and for nerve. This one is the nerve. Okay. Now dry. Dry means digitorum. Extensor digitorum. Places. Place P means peroneus tertius. So this is the peroneus tertius. From the medial to lateral, I repeat the muscle. This is TPRS anterior. Extensor hallucis longus. Extensor digitorum longus. Then there is a peroneus tertius. In between the tibialis and tibia, then extensor hallucis longus, I will see the artery. This is the artery. So this artery is anterior tibial artery. And you can see along with anterior tibial artery, you can see there is a nerve is there. So this one is the deep coronial